Triathlon. Fast weight loss. Efficient wow. weight loss that you can maintain all your life. This is what we are going to be talking about today in this video based on studies and things that are proven to work and we have 10 tips or steps that you can apply for efficient weight loss that we're gonna discuss in this video also in the comments i will post a timeline of where you can find each of these steps in the video but why should you even listen to me who am i that you should listen to At the time i was 16 years old i was pretty fat look at this guy here. i was pretty ashamed of myself i had a lot of bad eating habits an unhealthy lifestyle and basically I screwed up my metabolism for the years to come. Right now if I'm not careful and I eat too much salad or some carbs, I'm gonna get fat. But what can you do? Also I'm an MD of diabetes and nutrition right here in Romania. So this is my passion. Nutrition and being healthy. So enough with the talking, let's just begin. So the first tip of fast and efficient weight loss that you can maintain all of your life is physical exercise and maintaining muscle. So doing any kind of physical exercise will train your muscle and will help maintain your muscle while you lose weight. Preferably you want to lose fat and keep your hard-earned muscle because muscle is metabolically active and it burns more calories. But what kind of physical exercise is best? The one you like and you enjoy doing. That's the best physical exercise, the one that you can do consistently every and each week. If you like dancing, if you like fighting, if you like playing soccer, whatever, if you like running, swimming, doesn't matter what you enjoy the most doing. But do keep in mind that resistance training, so either training with free weights or machines, body weight, whatever, will help you maintain more muscle while you lose fat. Now tip number two, satiety. You have to eat for satiety and choose foods that will help you be more satiated. Because of this, you should focus on foods that are unprocessed and natural with as little added sugar as possible. Zero. Also choose foods high in protein because protein gives us satiety and also it has a thermic effect and you lose more calories eating protein. So meat of all kinds, cheese, eggs, whatever, foods high in protein. Also you can choose to add a whey protein supplement because this is shown to increase satiety and to help with weight loss. Another important thing to do is to focus on high fiber foods. So vegetables, especially green vegetables, or you can add a fiber supplement like glucomon powder or konjac powder because this has been shown to increase satiety a lot. Also stick to foods high in volume with the lowest amount of calories. And again, this will primarily be vegetables, Porridge, for example, is a cheap way to get a lot of satiety for a pretty low amount of calories. It's high in fiber and you can put about the five times amount of water to the oats. And there you have it, a big meal, high in volume and pretty low in calories. Or potatoes. Oh no, potatoes, they have carbs. Get them away from me. No, boiled potatoes have a great satiety effect. And if you eat about 200 grams of boiled potatoes, you'll feel them like a rock. Another good tip is to eat spicy food, especially hot food like chili peppers or adding chili pepper powder to your food because capsaicin from the chili peppers has been shown to improve weight loss and to control appetite. But what diet do I choose? Do I choose the ketogenic diet, the low carb, high protein, low carb, high fat, the carnivore diet, the Twinkie diet? What do I need to choose? Stop it. Get some help. Stop. It's the one you can maintain on the long term. That's the best diet for you. There's no magic bullet diet that's gonna work for everyone. Yeah, sure. You might be able to keep a miracle diet for about two months and you're gonna lose some weight and then you're gonna put all the weight back and even more. So what's the point of that? The next tip, the mental side. Why are you doing this? What is your goal? That's the most important thing. If you don't have a strong enough why that will move you, you will fail on the most perfect diet. What? What? This part related to the mental side could have been much, much longer, but I thought, hey, does my audience want to watch a three hour video related to weight loss? Uh, probably not. So uh, I decided to keep it short. Another good thing to do is to surround yourself with like-minded people that have the same goals, health or fitness goals that you have, that have consistently good habits and that you look up to, so you can share with them your experiences, your obstacles, because having a social support group can really help reaching your goals. Also go to a professional or a dietitian that can help you in creating for you a program or 
that can keep you accountable or a close friend that you have that can keep you accountable. Celebrate your victories. We are not taught to celebrate our own victories, especially related to weight loss for some reason. Celebrate the even the smallest victory related to weight loss. You lost half a pound in a week. Amazing, you changed your lifestyle, you improved in an area related to your goal and celebrate them often because when you're gonna feel demotivated and you're not gonna have energy, you can look back at those victories and see, hey, look at this. I realized this amazing thing a month ago, a week ago. I'm really amazing, you know? Sleep deprivation is linked to imbalances in your appetite and to increases in weight. And also, you are more prone to make horrible decisions along the day. So, have your sleep in check. The next tip is related to habits and rituals. Have regular meals at the same hours. It has been shown that people that have regular meals have better results. Another good trick to try is to use smaller plates. You can eat the same thing that you were eating before, but just reduce the plate size. Or drink a glass of water before every meal. That's another good habit that you can try to implement. Also, monitor as many things as possible related to your weight loss goal. Maybe try a food journal. You can try a written journal, photo journal, whatever. The more you monitor, the better. And this will help you to realize what you can improve. Because without being aware of something, you won't realize that you have a problem. You can try to monitor your weight on the scale or the body fat. You can also monitor pictures. You try and do pictures every week. Front, side, back or calories you can try to monitor your calories but do you need to monitor your calories to have results no of course not but it will help a lot if you monitor your calories because you will be able to know how much energy are you consuming each day and what are the things that you can improve and this will increase the chance of success also you can monitor the amount of water you drank throughout a day now let's talk about the next tip water intake and not drinking your calories. That's one of the most stupid things you can do. Drinking your calories. No, try and drink only water and zero calorie drinks. For example, there are studies that have shown that 500 milliliters of water before a meal can reduce energy intake. Also drinking about one and a half kilos of water over your daily water intake has been shown in about eight weeks to reduce your weight by about one and a half kilos just by drinking more water so what are you waiting for just go and get some water and drink some water while you watch this video so don't drink your calories no sodas no drinks no magical shakes don't drink your calories you can't drink zero calorie drinks or sodas if this keep you sane and reduce your sugar cravings but you shouldn't rely on this on every day and every week it will help with weight loss and fat burning to consume some caffeine. For example, from coffee or green tea, black tea, but unsweetened without other crap in it, just plain coffee or tea. The next tip for efficient and fast weight loss is to be more conscious of your eating and your behavior. So be conscious and fully present while you are eating and chew more slowly because most of us chew like an animal me included also limit the distractions while you eat because this will increase the amount of food you eat do you actually take time to enjoy your meal and feel the taste the texture the smell of the food yeah it sounds crazy but it works the next tip is goals 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 short-term goals long-term goals it will help to have clear, specific and measurable goals for your success. Weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, 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 goals. Written goals are better and also public goals are better than private goals because this will increase the chance of you reaching them. For example, for a specific goal, I want to lose one pound of weight each week until the 1st of July. But don't make the mistake of just focusing and relying solely on goals. Screw goals. Yeah, I know, half a minute ago I just praised goals, but the most important thing is to focus on day-by-day -day progress and just being present with the daily challenges and focusing on the now. The next tip is to go slow and progressively. Yeah, I know I touched upon this subject in this video already, but it's important to focus 
on small improvements every day. Strive to keep the changes that you make every week all of your life. That's why most of your diets have failed. Mine also. The final tip or step is to plan. For example, keep healthy food around your house. So in case you are ravaging hungry, you're gonna go and take that Greek yogurt, that 2% Greek yogurt, or that cottage cheese, or that piece of cabbage or whatever, and you're gonna attack it. And then your hunger and craving will go away. Or even better, do meal prep every week. Choose a day in which you do meal prep for the rest of the week, for example Sunday. And in that day, you prepare all of your meals for the entirety of the week. Good job! You're a beast for doing this. Plan for when you are going to eat out. What are you going to eat when you go out to dinner? Are you gonna just not eat anything while everyone in the table is eating some steak or some pizza? It's always good to have a backup plan. Also, if you can find healthy meals that you can do fast and that can help you achieve your goals, that's amazing. Focus on efficient planning and execution. So that's that. 10 tips that you can do to reach healthy weight loss and maintain your weight loss. Also, make it fun. Weight loss should, shouldn't feel like you're dying, you know, diet. It should feel fun. It should feel like a challenge. Every day, trying to go past a certain obstacle that you come across, finding a different food or, or different cooking method that you like for a food, substituting an unhealthy food but that you love with a healthy variant that you can eat every day. You shouldn't feel on the brink of depression and giving up every day. That means that you're doing too much too quickly. Now you know what to do. But wait, you still need to watch another video and find another video on YouTube on the most magical diet and what to do exactly because this video wasn't enough. Yes, no, close this video and just act. Action, action, action. You have all the right information here. Just watch this video several times or download it, whatever, listen to it and just act. Start today with a small step that you can apply in your lifestyle. Write in the comments what are you going to do right now? What step are you going to implement? What small improvement are you going to do to your lifestyle? Just, Just do, do it. it! Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped. Write in the comments if you found these tips useful or write which tips you found completely useless. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed the content and we'll see each other in the next video and by then, I hope you made a small improvement towards your goal. Salute!